Win McPix is a TikToker with over 227,000 followers and has taken the online world by storm with some of the most terrifying paranormal activity that they've been capturing in their haunted house. Their journey spans back far further than most would realize that, and that's what we plan to unravel in this documentary while showcasing some of the horrifying and demonic activity that's even scared some of the hardiest paranormal investigators. This is the satanic rise of Wynne McPix. To better understand what it is that's going on in Wing McPick's house and the activity that has regularly been caught, it's best to go back but before the TikToks. Instead, we're going to head over to YouTube and wind the clock back almost 10 years. This is where we can find the beginning of Wynn's online presence as they created a YouTube channel in 2014 and uploaded their first video on the 7th of September 2014. The page started out with some tongue-in-cheek videos just like these. Hey man, hey, really glad I finally got you over man, it's like I can never get you out of the house. Yeah, thanks for the invite. Lemon drops? Yeah, sure, I'll take a shot of lemon drops with my friend, who's the guy. Lemon drops, my own personal recipe. Nice place you got here. Thanks, uh, that's a, quite a pour you have. Thank you. So, cheers. Uh, just one second. What are you doing? Let me just check. Oh, the... What are you doing, Ray? Can you just one? Okay. Whoa, whoa. What are you doing? What are you doing? No. Just take the shot. That's not necessary. You're mad at me, aren't you? No! You could have just asked. I don't know what to do. Well, he's taken my keys again. He's been so angry. Well, he didn't like how I made the eggs, so he, he threw them at me. He hit me this morning really hard. All I can do is just lock myself in the bathroom and hide from him. He, he scares me. After these videos were uploaded, Wynn seemed to disappear, sparsely uploading videos every now and then, which seems to be a bit of a theme for this page, and with very little information known about the page owner or who he is outside of TikTok, it's almost impossible to say what started this type of documentation. It just started. All we know is that the page owner is called Wynn. On the 1st of July 2020, Wynn uploaded their very first TikTok. Once again, it was very in theme for the style of content that was posted to YouTube, with it all being a comical style of video. In a world where one man has to do the damn dishes, he'll also take out the trash. The next few videos from Wynn also followed the same humorous style. <laughs> So apparently the TikTok people like this. You walk out and boom. <laughs> My dog died. <laughs> Damn no. No, I'm TikTok. <laughs> All of these videos were uploaded with mediocre views gaining little to no attention, but that was all about to change as on the 4th of September 2020, Wynn was about to upload a video that was about to take their page from unknown to a household name in the paranormal world. With the caption, do not watch after dark, it left the audience intrigued as to what was going to happen, though nothing could prepare them for what was going to come next. Hey guys, now that I have a second in this quarantine, I wanted to show you, introduce you to our little friend here. Uh, he doesn't really like it when you whistle. Okay, so that's a lot of fun. And once you do it once, you just keep going. Um, let me, let me just, here. So he doesn't like it when we whistle, so thanks for checking us out. Coming by, and that's... That's just what he does. <laughs> Thanks. 
The comments to this video were divided, with believers Whistling summons demons. I thought everyone knew that. My fam always told me not to whistle in the house when I was growing up. I'm Latina by the way, but never explain why. Now I get it. But also disbelievers. I know this isn't real, but I'm wondering what the trick is. Can't see any strings or anything. Is it just good editing? The only reason I don't think it's real is because he had the camera on the exact door and chair that moved each time. I really want to believe, but... The disbelievers didn't stop Win though. This video blew up for them, getting over 600,000 views. This gave Win the motivation to upload more videos documenting their haunted house. The next video Win uploaded was their most popular to date, with 1.8 million views. With the caption, blink and you'll miss it, it led viewers to believe that something terrifying was about to happen, but they wouldn't know how scary it truly would be. Huh? What? There's nothing in the bathroom, bud. It's, there's nothing in the bathroom. <laughs> Though these next posts were jovial, around five days after the original scary video was uploaded, the second part was posted by Wynn, which would showcase some new activity that not even Wynn had seen from their poltergeist before. Stay awake at night, not walking up out of a dead sleep, smells like a rotten egg in the house. Kids are asleep, my wife's asleep, nobody else is here. But I got this idea that maybe he doesn't like it when you whistle, or is it that she doesn't like it when you whistle? Okay, that's new. Ooh, it's like something is right in front of me. Nope. 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 Okay. Holy. Alright, it's time for bed. Y'all, y'all made me. Okay. Good night, everybody. That's not okay. Stop. Go to bed, man. The comments in this video were different. The skepticism was nowhere to be seen. The video seemed enough to convince one skeptics of win and slowly turn them into believers. With comments like, That's not a ghost, my friend. Seek professional help if that's possible. Man, if this is real, it's definitely scary AF. And that's my worst fear, to hear someone running down my hall that's not there, and a light goes out, I'm out. Sulfur smell is a sign of demons, and that laughing at the end gave me chills. What's interesting, the next few videos from Wynn would again be jovial, tongue-in-cheek style posts, but there were a few that showcased Wynn's smooth video editing and transitions. Gentlemen, if you're playing with your balls too much, just toss them aside and find yourself a nice pussy cat. Cause they're soft and they're cuddly and they love you till you die. Okay then, thank you very Okay, I right. uh, yeah, bye bye. <laughs> Which led the community to begin to wonder if he's good with editing and transitions, then what's the authenticity of his paranormal content? Okay, but all of your videos include some cool editing and whatnot. Why would your ghosts videos be any different? I don't know what to believe, lol. Though many were happy to wait to see what came next and to see if their theories were right. Though the next video from Wynn would prove to be very difficult for people to debunk with a wide array of activity all happening once. Right now I'm just sitting here. Stop people from leaving their thoughts though. Guys, he's literally trick filming most of his videos. Calm down. Great job though. Props and great editing. But some people even heard a small child's voice within the video. Did someone take the audio from this and inspect it because I'm pretty sure I heard a small voice in the background once he went back to the kitchen. This video again was hugely popular, getting over 900,000 views. Head and shoulders above anything that his other non-paranormal videos were getting. Again, a few days later, a 
another paranormal occurrence was uploaded by Wynn, which emphasised the power his poltergeist had. It was an off when we were woken up by a loud bang downstairs, and the doorbell rings, like, it just rang probably, like, five minutes. I went down there, checked the doors, and nobody's at the front door. I mean, seriously, whoever this is. And get to the bottom of it. That really would I'll stand out here until sun shows back up. Okay, I'll, I'll, care. I'll stand here and watch it. Ooh, ooh, okay. That's a good one. Okay. Oh my gosh, not this again. Not this again. Oh my the most popular demand that Wynn's fans were making was that he used sage to cleanse his house of the spirits that resides within his four walls. And that's exactly what he tried on the 21st of May, 2020. The next video uploaded provided the fans with some long-awaited context, though brief, to Wynn's haunting, namely around how long they've had the spirit and what they've already tried. So, obviously, we've had this ghost for a while. Yeah, we've tried Sage. We've tried all that. That's why we kind of made a joke out of it. But, based on all of your advice, I have taken a couple of items that I've inherited from my family's 60-year business in Mexico, and I've inherited a lot of stuff. So, one by one, I've been sticking a couple of things in this box in the basement. Now, when my wife said that she whistled today and she heard something in the basement, so... Oh, dude. I'm not really sure if I should... Ooh. We've been stacking up these boxes for the kids to sit and play with. Oh! No! Nope. go down. Take a look. Hell, what that is. The following day, this terrifying update was uploaded. So you guys have asked me to check in on this. I told you it took me a few days to settle down. I think I pinpointed the cause of this ghost and I honestly think it's this money. I have this money from all over the world. Australia, Malaysia, Japan, Hong Kong. But anytime I get close to this change here, I just, I feel this. I'm gonna move closer and listen. Ah, oh, dude. Just real quick, this is part of what's in the box that I've been searching out to figure out what's in there. Dude. Oh, right, and the two. Uh, I'm not playing with this anymore, dude. I mean, it's even back here. I'm not. This stuff's from Dubai, Afghanistan, Iraq, Canada, Mexico. That hurt. Again, the following day, another update was posted where we'd learned that Wynn had a very unique protector from the spirits in his house. So I'm down here in my basement after the other night assessing the damage. It's not too bad. Got it all cleaned up. But a lot of people are asking about my cat. My cat does not react to them. It said that cats are uh, rulers of the underworld. So whenever she comes around, all the activity dies down real quick, huh? You. Yeah. Hey, say hi. Things in Wynn's house went from 100 to zero. His page went from daily updates about the resident spirit to nothing at all. That was until around three months later, when things intensely ramped up once again. Jeez, this kid. Dude, I've asked you to stop pounding up there. Hey. Dude, I've asked you, buddy, is that you pounding up there? Well, if you're here, then who's... <laughs> After this, another long hiatus. Nothing paranormal happened in Wynn's house for a further two months. But again, just like before, the spirit suddenly returned with a bang. I keep hearing sounds in my bathroom. I don't know what it is. I haven't whistled. I haven't messed with this thing. Holy crap. No freaking way. Did you see that? Yes. 
Did you see that? That's okay. Okay, you know, Sam cutting, so I'm gonna go nice and slow here. Right there. There's no way somebody slipped out right there. My back's against the wall. There's nothing in the closet. No feet, no nothing. Holy crap. Nope. Uh -uh. Not tonight. <gasps> this time the activity kept coming with another horrifying video uploaded a couple of days later. Two months then go by, again with next to no activity. That was until the 8th of December 2020, when again, the spirit in Wind's house made itself known. It's starting again. What's going on again? Hello? After this, we head into the new year of 2021 and Wynn is nowhere to be seen, not uploading for four months. But that lull would be brought to an end when Wynn would upload his scariest video to date. He's like to do no fun. No fun at all. Is it real? Yeah. Can you get it now? Stay there. What's interesting about this post is right at the beginning his son asks, is it real? To which Wynn responds with, yeah, and this was the first confirmation we'd had from Wynn that what he and his family were experiencing was genuine and not fabricated by him. The next paranormal video was very different. Instead of being recorded by Wynn, it was captured on his CCTV camera, showing what can only be described as one of the clearest apparitions the internet had ever seen. <laughs> Note that this video was uploaded a year later to his prior videos. These long gaps between uploads led the viewers to believe that what Wynn was experiencing was genuine. Eight months later, the scariest video that would give even the biggest of skeptics chills was uploaded. This one, unlike the others, wasn't just some odd noises and happenings. This was demonic. It is right there this time. Hello? 
Hey, no, 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 stay there. Hey, oh my god, dude, it's okay. It's okay. After this video and moving into the year of 2023, every video from Wynn became more and more popular, going from their once 100,000 of views to millions of views. And with occurrences like this, it's clear to see why they gained so much attention. You guys are hearing that, right? Hello? Ever since our cat passed away, things have kind of been picking up. I'm not going back there. Hello? Damn it. Who are you? Get the hell out of here. Jeez. Dude. Stop. No, oh, dude. Yes? Hello? What is that? Who are you? I'm not gonna hurt you. Leave my lights alone. So I don't know if you're gonna see what I'm seeing, but <laughs> this is on repeat. This happens over and over, and then the knocking happens. The knocking. There it is, and it just goes and goes until you talk to stop. Can you stop, please? It's just right there. That's new. Okay. Whatever you are, you gotta go. And that's... Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Goodbye. Like the kitchen, like the kitchen area. It is. They're real quiet about it. Oh, it's cold right here. Stay out of the way. Hello? I'm not going up there. Definitely not going back there. Oh wow, it, it is really cold right here. What was that? I don't think it's happy we're here. I don't know. Oh, holy. All of this attention was incredible for Wynn's page, gaining him thousands of followers every day. But it also came with some negative attention too. As Wynn became more popular, people started to make videos trying to debunk his content. I asked you, you gotta go or you gotta go downstairs or something. As a kid who grew up interested in paranormal stuff, I can tell you how this is the fakest video you've ever seen. A lot of the videos that you see about paranormal activity, especially on YouTube, are actually fabricated. Fishing line, guy behind the door, and green screen suits. So when you see a video where they're filming paranormal activity and they put the phone down to stabilize it, that's how you know it's fake. The shadow figure you see on the scares is actually the guy in the green screen suit. 
the reason why they stabilize it is so it's easier to edit out the guy. What they'll do is they'll take the still from the first shot of the phone sitting down and use that when they edit out the green screen suit. Or they might even not be using the green screen effect, they might be using more complicated video effects. But yeah, this is, again, one of the fakest videos you're ever gonna see. Go lie down. It's okay, lie down. Okay guys, so paranormal investigator, this is what I do for a living, that's my actual job. I'm also a psychic medium, which means I can see, speak, hear the other side, and watching this video, um, I, there's a few things that I would want to see. First, I would want to go investigate this place, so if this guy truly does have this issue, contact me, um, lunaparanormal1111 at gmail.com, uh, we'll go out there and investigate for you. Um, I want to see if he truly has a dog. Uh, I never saw the dog in the video. We can always edit in dog barking afterward. I think it's really funny that the dog growled right before the video ended and all that. Um, somebody could be down the stairs flickering the lights. Um, and I think it's silly that the shadow figure is the same clip over and over again. The shadow doesn't really do anything different except for the very end. It looks like it gets stretched a little bit. Um, so overall, my overall feeling is no, this video is BS. Can this really happen in investigations? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I've seen shadow figures before. I've seen doors open, drawers fly open, things fly off of counters. I've seen that before, but this just screams BS to me. There's just too many questions for me to truly say 100% this is real or not. But just because that shadow figure does the same thing over and over again, this is just going to tell me this is great editing software. So good job to that other guy. You've almost got a million views for a fake haunting. So <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm going to say it's not real, but if he wants to prove me wrong and have me and my crew out, more than welcome to go do it for free. This is on repeat. This happens over and over. And then the knocking. No, I don't think so. I don't, no, do I believe this? No. Um, because I don't think, one, the ghost is real. The shadow thing that goes across, that looks like an overlay to me. And it also looks like they've used something called a, a keyframing where it makes it look like the camera is still moving uh, when it's not because I'm pretty sure that the guy had it already on like a like a monopod like this and when he turned it around he puts it down so that it's a steady shot and then you use something called keyframing in order to animate the scene um, that basically lets you move it around here let me show you an example I recreated that part let me show you an example So yeah, I did use an animated figure, which I blurred out a little bit, uh, it's a silhouette, made it walk across. I also used a mask so it can look like it's coming out of nowhere and going into nowhere. You know, that ethereal or ethereal plane of existence, that's not real. Um, but anyway, so it actually, if you go back and look, it looks like the camera never stops moving. It keeps going uh, back and forth, up and down. But what's really happening is uh, I'm just moving. I took the, the video and I enlarged it a little bit so that when, it, the, when I have it steady, I can actually make the whole scene move different ways. And you can, you can catch that smooth motion of it. Um, and that's, uh, that's a, a, a red flag to me. That's a giveaway that this is an edited video. As for the knocking, that's really easy to do. I mean, you can do it anytime you want to and make it sound like it's coming uh, from further away or you can have it come closer to you as you uh, get closer to something. It's really easy to do. Um, and as for the chair moving, that's probably fish lying. I mean, the light's off in there, and that's, a, that's also a red flag. When you have the light off, it's much easier to hide fishing line or thread um, because it doesn't reflect any light because it's, it's dark in the room, so the camera doesn't pick it up. Even a, a, a high def or a 4K won't pick it up. Um, so, yeah, do I think this is a real video? No, not at all. Um, I think it was entirely staged, uh, and, and so hopefully that um, gives you some more information, and uh, you're better off from now on. So, see you later. To provide proof, I would have to spend just about as much time as he did editing and doing all that, and I don't think it's really worth it, just to prove my point to a commenter. I don't, no, no offense to you, but um, if you believe that's real, 
you, one, have never been in a paranormal investigation, and two, don't know what real paranormal evidence looks like. Go to my page. We have been doing it for a while now, documenting it and actually putting it on social media for the first time. Uh, we started about a year ago, maybe, and on TikTok, and before that we started on Twitch like t just a, like a year and a half ago. So everything we catch is legit, and uh, yeah, he's like a known fraud, and everybody tells me he's fake, so. Though, his content did also catch the attention of some of the biggest creators on the platform, from Bishop James Long. He's like, today are no fun. Okay. No fun at all. Is it real? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that. That, that, that poor child is, is. Please contact me. I'll be happy to come to your home. Yeah, I don't like that. No, 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 no. Contact me. We'll take care of it. I did a duet like this before, and Owen and Saley asked me to do a duet uh, again, or asked them. Uh, again, if this is you, if you're the owner of the video, uh, reach out to me. I'll be happy to come to your home, and uh, we'll take care of this problem. Especially when children are involved. This really irritates me. Yeah, that's just a bully. See, I don't, li I don't like that kid crying like that. That bothers me. So contact me. We'll take care of it. It's okay. So um, you're going to see what I'm seeing. Again, I don't know if this is a legitimate video, because I don't know the background. This happens over and over. That's a full body apparition. Those are very, very rare. And it just goes and goes until you tell it to stop. So I, I did a previous duet on this one. Look, this, if you're the owner of this video, you're going to have to get clergy involved. There's no other if, answer, buts about this. So again, reach out to me on Facebook, on my Facebook, and I'll... Um, Okay. See about helping out. See, folks, when, when I make videos like this and do it, I can only offer. Whatever you are, you got to go. I can only offer. So. And that's. Reach out to me on Facebook if this is you, if you're the owner. And. Yeah, um, I don't like that. I don't like we'll that. We'll go from there. Goodbye. Line reaction. See what I'm seeing, but <laughs> seeing something. Okay. This is on repeat. This happens over and over. That is not real. And then the knocking. Yeah, the knocking. So that's there it's good goes, editing. It just goes and goes. Sometimes energy will look stop. similar to that, but that one again. Can you stop, please? Has some lines in it that show me that it's that not real. It's, it's the intention right in his here. voice. But let's just see what happens. That's new. Okay. Jump scare. <laughs> I like the creativity. However, you edited that, edited that was very good. Oh yeah. So this is blatantly not real. So Whatever this. Whatever you are, you gotta go. Trying to get our attention, and again, you might be able to hear the energy in the voice, or if you can see, you can see that there are actual little motions like no, this I don't like that. when people lie. I don't like that at all. <laughs> Goodbye. Negative attention wouldn't stop Win though, and it's just as well as he was about to go and upload two of his most popular videos. This video gained over 9 million views, where a pair of human hands can be seen, no body, just hands banging on the glass. But when Wynn investigates closer, this happens. Leave. Stop. You gotta go. Shh, 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 shh. Calm down. What are you? Stop! Charlie, come on. I don't, I don't even know how to explain what I'm seeing. Holy hell. No, this is crazy. Did you hear this last night? Oh, yeah. 
It was going last night. Now, the, you, Charlie, come here. I guarantee it's going to keep on. Uh, it'll do. And this video with over 27 million views where a creepy shadow figure is caught on camera, blocking off Wynn's stairs. Go lie down. It's okay. Lie down. Stay. I've been doing this all morning and I don't have time for this today. It's, stop. Hey buddy. We, I don't, I got too much going on. You gotta cut it out. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm just gonna set it up. Paper towels. And we'll just let the phone roll. I asked you if you gotta go or you gotta go downstairs or something. Wherever you're gonna go, you gotta go. Calm down. He's okay. Please, not today. Just holy cow. Holy Little buddy. To this day, Winner's uploading creepier and creepier content to his TikTok page, with each outperforming the last. But I now hand it over to you. With Win not confirming or denying whether his content is genuine or not, what do you think? Would you be able to spend a day in Win's house?